Hello everyone, uh, today I will be sharing with you some analysis I have done using Python and which I applied on the Holy Quran text. So uh, in this tutorial I suppose that you have some uh, Python programming knowledge and also I will be using Jupyter Notebook because it's uh, easy to show the results and it's good for analysis. So let's start. So the first thing uh, we need to do in order to do the analysis is to get the Holy Quran uh, in the form of text file. So for that one, I was looking for that on the net and I found this uh, tanzil.net uh, useful website. So we will be using this website to download the Holy Quran. So you go to docs and then you go to Quran text and here you choose a text and you choose simple and clean. Probably you can remove uh, pause marks and search the marks. You agree on the terms and then push download. So here you will get the Quran simple clean dot text file which will be saved under your download uh, downloads folder in my case I've already downloaded so just push save in my case I will cancel and then you will get the file under your downloads so first thing first let's read the Quran file and I will be using this command uh, which will read the text file into uh, Quran list so I will be using this file, read, split lines in order to do that. And let's start by reading the file. So let's check uh, if I was able to read the contents of the file. So yes, uh, under Quran list, we have the list of ayat. So let's check that, yeah, and indeed the first ayah is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and then Al-Fatiha Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik Yawmiddin till the end of the Quran which should be Surat Al-Nas. Uh, let's check that. It's a long list, but let's see. Uh, actually we cannot see because uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, doesn't have the capacity to show all the Quran but let's check that later so the second thing I'm going to put those ayat or this Quran list in the form of a data frame in order to do some basic analysis so let's execute that so I will import pandas as PD and then I'm going to define this data frame which is I call to DF under bar ayat which will read the Quran list and uh, it will put them under the column called aya so let's check that and yes we have our data frame with one column which is aya and this is the index which goes from 0 to uh, 6235 line and yes the first aya is bismillah rahman rahim al fatiha and then we have the last uh, verse or aya of surah an nas min al wan nas okay so given this one let's do some interesting like uh, kind of analysis so let's count the length of each ayah and for that we will define a new column called, called ayah length and uh, we will use this apply because we want to count the length of each row in this data frame and we will use length which will be applied to ayah column right then let's execute this one so this is calculated now let's execute our data frame and see if we are able to see uh, the length of the ayah and indeed we have the length of ayah at the right of the ayah column which is uh, i think from this one the first thing we can think about is 
what is the longest ayah then in Quran and this this length basically is the number of alphabets or letters uh, in this ayah so let's calculate the longest ayah and for that basically uh, we need to uh, find what is the longest so the longest ayah basically I think we can execute this one first so let's put it up here okay so this is the longest actually the longest ayah has like 679 uh, letter and but we don't know which one is this one so for that one we are going to use the land and this one uh, uh, sorry we are going to use the lock uh, command and uh, we will choose when the land is equal to the max so when the land is equal to this 679 right so let's execute this one so this one will give us the longest ayah and the longest ayah it seems it's ya ladina amanu ida tadayantum bidaynin ila ajalin musamma so let's check this one for example if we copy this one and we go to tenzil.net and we go to Quran text no we go to tenzil okay and then I already have it here so let's search for this one and it seems this is looks like one ayah yeah it looks like one ayah because it started from here until بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ and yeah it's interesting actually I didn't know that this is the longest ayah but now um, yeah it looks like that so let's continue our analysis and let's find what is the shortest ayah ah yeah so, so this one basically does not show all the ayah but so that's why we are going to use this dot values so this one will give us the longest ayah and we can see it as whole text uh, now let's probably check what is the shortest ayah in Quran so let's use the same logic and see what is the shortest and it seems like the shortest is Asin Qaf so let's see I think it's uh, the beginning of Surah Ashura let's see that yeah so this one is Ashura and let's click on this one and yes it is in the beginning Hamim Asin Qaf كَذَلِكَ يُوحِي إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ اللَّهُ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ yeah so this is basically the beginning of Surah Ashura and it seems this is probably the, sh the shortest ayah in Quran so yeah, I found this kind of uh, Python code applied to the Holy Quran interesting uh, because it allow us to do some search uh, yeah and probably we can do other analysis so please uh, let me know what do you think and if you have any question or any uh, uh, anything you want to to check using Python we can apply it to the Quran we can apply it to other texts uh, if you like so please subscribe and please stay tuned to this channel thank you for watching